Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I decided to show you all the custom picks that I have, my, my collection. I just did a series on making custom lockpicks, so I decided that it might be a good idea to give you an idea of some different things that you can do uh, with uh, pick making. And so here we go at the top is a, one of my favorites and one that was been very hard to reproduce. I did an image transfer under this pick, and you can do it using your printer. This one I used an inkjet. You can also use laser printers. They seem to work better, which I might try. I just got a laser printer. But this is the only one I got it to work on. I used a inkjet with normal printer paper and Mod Podge. If you want, want to look up that technique to give it a shot. Here is the burl with the inlay I did in the Making Custom Lockpicks video. So you can see our brass key inlay there. A nice burl. Burls are the knots that you see in the wood uh, on the trees, like those big squished in knots. That's what makes all those beautiful formations in the wood like that. Here's another um, inlay pick I did. You can see it's got the honeycomb uh, acrylic there and all the little dots are different uh, inlay parts. And you can see on the pins as well, I did those different sizes going down the whole way. And this side right here, you can see that the inlay is not the same. So one thing I discovered with inlay is it won't go all the way through um, correctly. So if you think you're going to start on one side and make the pin go all the way through, the other side will be even, it won't. You just do one side at a time. This is what I would argue is probably the most expensive pick um, there is an existence of this kind of pick anyway. This is a mammoth tusk pick. So a genuine mammoth tusk. See how it shines up nice, and that's all just sandpaper, nothing else. Fulting custom pick, very nice. I really love it. I'm going to try to take that to the mammoth case and pick a lock there. Um, you'll see I have several of these, and in fact, this is the other kind of counterpart to this one. So it's uh, black bog oak and pot paddock. You can see how both have the other half of the wood of the other one. Both, let's see, finished in, this looks like maybe polycrylic, and this one down here, um, water-based satin. Both very nice, though. Another, um, let's go ahead and pull out the other. Here's a good uh, example comparing the two, actually, so we'll do this. So the top one is, um, you know, paddock and uh, black bog oak, and so is the bottom as well. The difference between the two is their finishing. So the bottom one is CA glue, very shiny. The top one is polycrylic, shiny, but not the same. It still looks really nice. You can see the difference in the colors too. The black bog oak is a nice just black now and up here it has more of a gray and textured color to it. Both look really nice. And then right here is a marble mixed with an acrylic, a marble wood mixed with an acrylic. I believe this one's just a handle. Yeah, you can see that the metal doesn't go all the way through. This is just a handle for a, one of my favorite profiles here. I love how that acrylic just shines through nicely. Over here, I'll show more about this later, but this is my Cayman pick from Lambda, Italy. And it is just gorgeous. Look at that. He takes a hammer and some sort of a, you know, like punch and goes and does all this texture on it. And I really enjoy how he started doing a lot of picks where the metal sticks out to make features of the pick. He's done a fish one as well. Really cool. Here's a pick I'd like to make more of. And this is a um, actual image. So what I did was is I made the metal pick right there and um, I printed out this photo right here on a piece of nice quality photo paper and then I glued it onto the metal and then I glued on uh, plexiglass over top of it and got the pins in and then I coated it with CA glue as well. The reason being is because when you just glue these on each other you're still kind of relying on that picture 
to hold the plastic to the metal then, right? That's all there is, the glue and then the picture and then the metal. So I coated it with CA glue as well to make sure these sides here were also covered so nothing could get frayed and frilled off to screw up the inside there. But I'm going to do a lot more with this. I enjoy that. I love the way it turned out. I showed this one in my pick making video. And again, um, when you're doing metals, it's they get really hot and it makes the glue separate. So this one was a really hard pick to make. It kept falling apart. Uh, bog oak, curly maple. You can see just the features in that. Really enjoy it. Covered with CA glue or finished with CA glue. Another burl and acrylic. This is for a handle for a Peterson pick, Peterson profile. This down here is a multi wood pick, one of the first ones I made. It was just a whole bunch of um, the one inch pieces I've cut off the end of a whole bunch of different woods and I made into an extra long pick. This is a little bit too much. This is about six inches because each one of these is about an inch. I typically like about four inch uh, pick handle so they don't stick out of my my case. But yeah, really cool. It was fun to make. Down here is an acrylic. Very nice. Once it's all shined up, looks great. You can see see how you can how deep you can see in it. And yes, I made it this shape purposely. Um, see if you can guess down in the comments the name that I call this pick. It's actually on social media somewhere. Yeah, I had fun with that one. Uh, this wood is beautiful. I forget what it is. I traded the other half of this off to, I believe, Matt's lock pick. But yeah, this is finished with a CA glue, it looks like. No, nope, this is actually a polyacrylic. I can see the bumps on it from not sanding it off nice. So you can see... Even polyacrylic can look really nice if you put multiple layers on it and uh, buff it up nicely. It looks great. It's an acrylic. I tried a little different, something different with on the back of it here. Down there. And that took a lot of time buffing. I probably will never do anything like that again just because trying to get all those little corners and stuff really shiny is a pain. But um, this is 25,000 metal so it will last a while so it was worth it. A nice nice acrylic and then a final CA glue and um, I believe another paddock down here sorry about that there go there's the bog oak on this side see a little bit of the dots on that bog oak there those white dots yeah from the CA glue and getting a little bit of moisture on it when applying it so yeah, I've mentioned how careful with that. And I keep these all in my um, display cases. Uh, these are actually ring cases, so jewelry cases. And then you just put something to hang them with in the back. And then got this sort of system. And it works out really well. And if there's anything while you're watching this video that you have any questions about any of the picks or processes or what I finished anything with feel free to ask uh, throw it down in the comments and uh, I will do my best to answer any questions that you may have alright everyone enjoy alright this is my second display case that I have hanging up and over here on the left we see a, a marble type handle this one is a full tang looks like 16 thousandths a nice acrylic one here I really just like the the colors on it it really sticks out I like different stuff another one of those um, black og boat black bog oak sorry and then the curly maple on the end there This one is all uh, paddock, or I believe this might be bloodwood on this side. And it's CA glued, so you can see how that just really 
and over on this side is uh, more black bog oak. You can see how it's a little white, and I think that's from the CA glue coming off a little bit. Lacewood. CA glue finish, just look at how that really makes that pop out. This is, this wasn't one of my favorite woods at all until I put the CA glue on it and just, it looks 3D, it's gorgeous. And on this side, I believe it's um, leopard wood, possibly. One of my first favorite picks, just because I really like this type of a, uh, this type of wood here. And I like this profile, so I use this one up quite a bit. This was a just a random combination one that I put together with a whole bunch of extra pieces of everything I had. So um, you can see wood on one side here, and then over on the other side it's all acrylic. So I used just a little bit of everything. Fell apart quite a bit, but I mean, I wasn't looking to get rid of it. Just something I wanted to do with all my extra stuff. A little fun thing. Another marble one. This one is the CA glued as well. If you can get the CA glue looking right. With no humidity in the room, it just it looks good. Over here, this is just a handle I made for a sparrow's pick. like that wood. This one's a mixture and it's a, you feel it, that is not CA glue. This is a polycrylic finish. Another acrylic rake. You can see how he starts to shine and shows up the more you polish him up. Just another, I believe that's, I don't think that's leopard wood, but another rake. Here's another one of my um, black bog oak and leopard wood picks. I made two of those same ones. This, it was my, uh, one of my favorite Medico picks. It's nice. When I ever make medical picks, I keep the inside of the uh, inside of their rough. That way, it grabs onto the pick better, so it doesn't slip. That's just my opinion. Here's that um, lace wood again. That one over here. So here's kind of a good comparison. The top one, I believe, is done with a water-based satin finish and the bottom was the polycrylic so you can really see how the finish makes a difference on it and this bottom one I don't remember what wood this was I actually like this wood it might be like a black palm or something yeah another one I bent up pretty quick as I say it's one of my favorite profiles these are all the picks that I have from other lockpick makers. Over here on the left, we have Matt's Lockpit. The top one is the random profile he said he's trying out, so I've used it a few times. This is a nice one. It was a new profile to try out. It actually feels pretty good. I like the sharp point on it. And it's also a nice polished job. And then this one as well was a breast cancer awareness thing. And it is a um, Lawlox tool scimitar that he made a handle for with um, the black plastic pins in it, which I really like. This is the only pick I have with these types of pins in them. And I just love this profile as well. Right here in the middle, we have picks from uh, Jimmy Long's. And he sent me these to uh, test out and play with to give feedback on. And um, I felt these at Lockfest before, these types of handles with these grips right here. Supposedly these are very similar to um, like Surgeon's Tools grips areas right there. And it does, it feels really good. It's a, it, it's really comfortable pick. 
and I like the um, plastic mold handles that he did looks like it might be some injected type handle right there um, because they feel a lot like uh, Peterson handles uh, and they're about the same thickness although I like that they're a little bit taller I believe too um, they just feel really good and actually here is a Peterson one yeah so this one is actually bigger than Peterson which I do enjoy but yeah it feels really good it's a really good handle and um, this pick has been really well um, he does the pick itself uh, gets that cut and everything and then on the end here we have uh, Lambda Italy. This is the Cayman pick. You can see the metal that's sticking out for the eye, the feet, the tail. Um, he does some really cool stuff um, where he takes a hammer and he hits, you know, pins into the side here to make these, this, um, this texture. He does some really cool metal ones with that as well. He also sent a set of um, uh, like uh, covert picking tools. So these aren't uh, wiper blades. These are actual steel stock that he gets. So it is good metal blades. So I'm going to finish polishing up the rest of the ones that don't have the sleeve on it yet. And those are going to be my uh, tools for that, which is really cool. And another thing he does as well is he sends this along with it. And you can see here nice disclaimers, rules. Just everything all the way down to an even a wax stamp. Really cool. Just it's gorgeous. These all are gorgeous. And these are just people with amazing skills and as you can see just a lot of thought put into these each. They just really good works of art. This was the first half of my custom lock picks collection. The video is continued in part two. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.